some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Georgia with a soft heart who, well, just can't seem to keep his mouth shut long enough as he incriminates himself in the court and, uh, well, keeps on racking up the charges as he goes along with his pathetic little life. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What is your name, sir? Whitlock. Whitlock? All right. Mr. Whitlock, um, you have appears to be duplicate charges, so some of these charges are going to be dismissed, uh, and you have two separate incidents. Um, because you're on active probation for the felony charges, I cannot provide you bond. So for the aggravated assault on police officer, fleeing a police officer, and for the obstruction felony charge, there will be no bond. For the theft by taking, that'll be a $1,000 charge as a misdemeanor. For the second incident, there is a vile, um, sorry, no license charge which is being dismissed because there, there is no facts to support it within the warrant. Suspended, sorry, the tinted window will be $500. Use or possession of drug-related objects, $1,500. Identity fraud, no bond. Crossing guard lines, two counts, no bond. The wanted person charge is going to be dismissed because that's, that's something separate totally from this incident. And giving false name or address of date of birth will be dismissed because there are no facts to support it in the warrant. So again, you have two counts of aggravated assault. One of those is going to be dismissed because there appear to be duplicate incidents. Two counts of fleeing an officer, one of those is going to be dismissed. But at this time, there's no bond, which I can confirm which one's going to be dismissed. You get them, you'll have a minute to extra question, Mr. Whitlock. I'm not done. The theft by taking misdemeanor, two counts, $1,000, and the obstruction of an officer is no bond. Your preliminary hearing is currently set for September the 9th at 8.30 a.m. In regards to court-appointed counsel, Mr. Whitlock, did you are you working? Did you want to be considered for a court-appointed counsel? Oh, no, I don't want um, court-appointed counsel, but I do not proceed to the, I do not. Hold on, hold on. So you're going to hire your own attorney? Yes, ma'am. I, I don't consult to the proceedings, and uh, I would like to say things like, uh, I, I already know how it goes. You don't consult to these charges. Uh, uh, dude, uh, it's not consult. The word you're looking for at this time, you uh, black brain soft heart, is consent. I mean, that's the word you're looking for, I believe. It's, it's very typical for sovereign citizens to uh, confuse the meanings of words with other words, considering the uh, word salad they have going on around their head, trying to avoid laws and everything like that. You know, those pesky little laws that keep everybody from lying, cheating, stealing, and everything like that. With the things about crossing guard lines, I'm in a boat, and I was with the officer the whole time you... you I, I told them they need to use their cameras here because of they found a bud of weed in my boots. Are you stupid or something? I mean, really now, dude. Do you need a lawyer to come out here and advise you to keep your damn mouth shut when you're in a court of law because you just gave away uh, some, uh, well, criminal activity information right there, dude? I mean, you just incriminated your stupid self. Mr. Bullock, I, you say you know what's going on, so you know this is being streamed live. So you know, I know, but, but that, I'm saying, I'd rather be charged for that than what they're putting on me. They they found that on a, a water fountain. I know I don't even know where the water fountain at. I was with the officer the whole time. Even the officer in there said, man, this is going to get thrown out because they, the officer was just being an a-hole and putting everything on me. I had none of that. I was with the officer the whole time. You could tell them. Went locked. I don't, this is not a hearing. I don't have the officer here. So when we have the hearing, all this can be brought forward for your preliminary hearing or for, you know, your attorney who you hire who can help you negotiate this. Again, I'm advised this is not a hearing. This is just to tell you what you're charged with. So I, any other questions? If I say I do not consent with the for, uh, proceedings, though, and, uh, you know, I do not accept, you know, the terms. Like, okay. 
Yeah, well, you can discuss that with your attorney. If you have no other questions or comments, you're free to go. Now, uh, this one more question, man. Uh, so okay. the, the, that with what you was just charging me with that had been in College Park. So is that a part of y'all? College Park is in Clayton and in Fulton, sir. Yes, ma'am. So I'm wondering, like, I thought I had to deal with Fulton County on that instead of Clayton. You have, looks like you have some Fulton charges as well. So, yeah, but the Fulton County charges is someone else. That's the way they, they, they actually locked me up and then let me out the hospital once he found out it wasn't me. So, why are they still on me? Like, this charge, so let me just tell you the charge that you're for the aggravated assault that was in, that was in College Park it is on or around July 28th. It happened. So, that is not the Fulton County one that occurred that had happened around July 17th. So, so there's Clayton County? Yeah, the, if the warrant was sworn out uh, for Clayton County. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Um, that's all I was asking because um, I know that's going to get handled. That's some BS. But because um, I did that, my, my, my father is a um, police officer, a detective, so I'm not worried about it. I know there's some BS. Wait a minute. Your father is a detective within the police department. So where do you get off saying that you don't consent to any laws whatsoever? Uh, yeah, uh, somebody other than your father definitely influenced you in this regard. Uh, yeah, just goes to show you the influence of these uh, sovereign citizen gurus that are out there. But hey, you can't lay it all on those sovereign citizen gurus. This guy is a grown-ass man. He should know better than that. He grew up around a, a law enforcement officer who knows better than that. Man, oh man, I'm sure your father must be real proud of you. But it's, right. it's one thing. Those charges that I have in Fulton County, those warrants, I had got locked up in front of the ledges on Old National. I know this not, I just want you to understand. I got locked up in front of the ledges on Old National. I have 2% in the ledges. The, the man even told them, hey, yes, he, 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 he own it. he's an owner. And they still, hey, let me search you and all that. Now, once they searched and seen, I was clear. I'm good. I know the officer. I bought them food. And the dude that was in, I also rent cars out. I have a Maserati truck. I was renting out at the time. Mr. Whitlock, I'm going to stop you there. Cause, no, no, because you're doing too much. You're talking about Fulton County. I was trying to let you go forward and explain oh, sorry, it. I, did, I, I need some professional help. Like, like Okay, well, you said you're hiring an attorney, so they'll be able to help you with those charges, sir. Good I, luck. I, I'm going to have a attorney for the charge, but since you're a judge, you can tell me, like, why did they let me go? They let me go. I can't tell you what happened in that case. I ha I don't have those facts before me. I only have the ones I'm dealing with right now. So you're free to go. Thank you. So what my what's my bond? You have no bond because you're on uh, probation. I heard give me a couple of numbers also. There was for the for the misdemeanors. There's like one thousand dollars and fifteen hundred dollars for the for remaining felony charges. Um, those statutes don't allow a judge to give you bond if you're on active probation for felony charges. Yes, ma'am. But uh, even in Fulton County, they don't allow. Even it's the, the laws of Georgia. Yes, sir. Or more precisely, this law right here that says, well, you pretty much can't uh, have a bond with new charges at this particular time while you were on probation. So you done screwed the pooch, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. I thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Have a good day, sir. That's the way you're you say, oh, I'm talking to my lawyer, right? Yep. And even if I say I demand a bond immediately? Dude, go hire a lawyer so that way you can be filled in on this and you can actually have a clue. Uh, so until then, yeah, have a nice time in jail, dude. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?